Hello learners, welcome to the video. In the previous chapter, we have learned about political map. A political map shows countries, states and towns. This map represents names and boundaries. Now, what is a thematic map? The maps that focus on specific information like road maps, rainfall maps, forest maps, etc. are called as thematic maps. Suitable titles are shown on the basis of information provided in these maps. Thematic maps also represent basic features like coastlines, boundaries and places. These are used only as a point of locational reference for the phenomenon being mapped. The maps which are based on a theme or a topic is known as a thematic map. It is drawn to represent the distribution of human or natural features or data. The map's theme is layered onto the base map with the help of different mapping programs and technologies such as Geographic Information Systems or GIS. Well, thematic maps usually involve the use of map symbols to visualize selected properties of geographic features that are not naturally visible like temperature, language or population. Learners, you may think that why are these maps known as thematic maps? No worries, I'll tell you. Well, these maps are known as thematic maps as these represent features related to a particular theme or aspect of geography. Thematic map is useful as it can be used for exploratory dimensional data analysis, confirming hypotheses, synthesizing spatial data by revealing patterns and relationships, and data presentation. Learners, can you answer the types of thematic maps? I'll tell you, there are two types of thematic maps. Well, one type of thematic map is known as qualitative thematic map and the other is known as quantitative thematic map. The nominal data is represented by qualitative thematic map. It focuses on the distribution of that nominal information. Quantitative thematic maps are based on quantifiable, empirical data. They are often related with the hard sciences, but some softer. Finally, we can say that a reference map might show bank locations, while a thematic map shows average income in an area. Thus, the difference between reference map and thematic map is the difference between mapping places and mapping data. Now it is time to explore. Can you think of what mistake can students do while making a difference between a reference map and thematic map? In this video, we have learned about the thematic map. In the next video, we will learn about the components of maps. I'll take your leave. Till then, bye. Stay happy.